Good morning. I'm all, I, I was almost ready to say good afternoon, but it is morning. And we want to welcome, to, welcome you to the July and August edition of the Cannon County Chamber Connection. And the reason we're doing two in one is because I've been puny and we had to cancel our original date for this month. So this being the end of the month, we'll just add the two together. So after we're done here today, we won't see you again until September. Now that's kind of scary. I thought, where has this year gone? Yeah, last year was so long. So well, like maybe that's what it was, year. but <laughs> you know, we're running into August and school will start here the first week in August. And of course, then you're into September and the next thing you know, it's Christmas. And we won't see you again until September. So we'll probably be talking about something to do with Christmas in September, since we always need to talk a little bit about the events that are not next week, but next month. And I do have some guests with us today. And of course, my name is Carolyn Motley, and I'm sure you've all known that after all these years of listening to me. And my co-host is Keith Reddy. And we have two guests today, and uh, we have a new business that is coming into town and of course we're always excited for new businesses and this happens to be a bank and it's home homeland community bank and i have miss cindy rogers with us good today good morning and what is your official title cindy my title is marketing director all right well bank. that makes sense doesn't it <laughs> <laughs> okay and then my other guest is billy kaufman and i'm sure many of you know billy too if you haven't been to the short mountain distillery you need to go there for one thing one reason is it is the prettiest farm in Cannon County. That That's not even counting all the other things, the restaurant, uh, the, the tastings, the trails you can go on. It, it's just something to experience if you come to Cannon County, so you don't want to miss that. But to begin with, we'll go with Cindy. Okay, thank you. And Cindy, we welcome you, and of course we welcome um, Homeland Security, our community bank, and we're hoping that it does well for you. We certainly hope so, and thank you. Thank you for having us this morning. We're so glad to be here. Everyone has been so welcoming in the community. It's It's been such a nice, of course, we're, we're community-minded, and Cannon County is community minded, so it's been such a nice fit for us to come in. Everybody's been so gracious. We've kind of been in the building this week, unadvertised, doing like a soft opening. So we've had several stopping by. We've we've already conducted several different types of business, so it's been exciting to do that. Um, our official opening is Monday, July the 26th. So we will be open Monday, July the 26th and going forward. Um, we've got, can I share our hours sure. with our business? So our uh, lobby will be open, our lobby hours are 8 a.m. until 4.30 p.m. That's Monday through Thursday. On Friday, we are 8 a.m. Uh, until 5 p.m., excuse me, 6 p.m. Saturday is 8 a.m. until 1 p.m. And then our drive through hours are Monday through Thursday, 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. Friday is uh, excuse me, seven. I, I get my eights and my sevens messed up. Our drive through Monday through Thursday is 7 a.m. to 5 p.m. On Friday at 7 a.m. till 6 p.m. and then Saturday is 7 to 1. So you guys are open on Saturday. We That's going to be and a the big lobby plus. Will be open as well. Good yes. deal. Yes. Good deal. And I, I toured the parking lot and stuff of the bank because <laughs> you, you can't get inside. Yeah, yes. groundbreaking too. Yes. But we we went and snuck in some pictures and oh, stuff like that uh, oh, last okay. week to okay. use it for future. Sure. And uh, tell you what, that back of that building looks way impressive. If you've never been 
you got to go check that thing out. They've got a they've got a uh, veranda on top where you you can you guys going to hang out it's, up there. Or? It's not accessible by oh, employees, okay. which we wish it would be nice. Yes, <laughs> it, it mirrors our home office in McMinnville, oh, okay. so we have that same okay. over our drive through there. Yeah. And so they've always that's always been a question since day one, and we thought that would be nice, but it's just. It was you got not what, in the plans. To you got like it. three or four different drive through We have three. Three, yes. three avenues. Very spacious to get through. You don't have to worry about crunching your car like some of these banks. Our bank president has said from day one that drive through whoever sits in the drive through has got the most beautiful view with the creek back there. Yes, nearby. they do. And so I've teasingly told him, you better not tell everybody at McMinnville that because they're all going to want to be down here working. So <laughs> we need some folks still there to, yeah. to work. So. But he, from day one, he has said that. It's a beautiful view. And what we're talking about is right beside the Art Center of County County. Exactly. John Bragg Highway. 1528 John Bragg Highway. It's a beautiful building. Thank it really you. is. Yeah. Y'all did a good We're job. excited. We want everyone to come be with us. We'll do a grand opening, we hope, in September. That's our plan. Uh, just a few little things on the end with the supply chain hiccups that everybody's experiencing. So um, there's a shortage. You, you won't see it as you walk Cindy. in the bank, but we want everything just perfect for that yeah. grand opening. So we're excited to be. Here. Well, the chamber would like to be a part of that. Too. We'd love to have. So. We definitely want everyone. All we invite everyone, all the chamber members to come by so and we hope our folks are going to be out visiting they were yesterday with some of the city and county offices and those things so we look forward to introducing ourselves to all the businesses in town as well well that's good and i'll be glad to share our phone number if that's okay sure while you, we're ta here. you talk about whatever you want just to. a few minutes so uh, our, our numbers at the bank are our main line is 1-615-563-2265 and our fax line is uh, 1-615-563-2275. So for folks that are listening, if they'd like to call and inquire, we certainly want them to be able to do that. Which how long did it accessible? How long did it take you to memorize that number? Because you're from McMinnville, that's a different area code. <laughs> well, I've been using that number a lot. Lately. Oh, I got you. Okay. I so. have actually been down here most of the week working, and then all last week, and then I've been back and forth. I got a so. new phone number on my phone. It took me about three or four weeks to try to figure out how to, you know. Normally, I'm that way. I'm not that really good number. Sometimes I transpose, but right now I've got that one down pat. So. Got you. <laughs> Of course, we, we have all the banking services that all banks do. We feel like what sets us apart is the community, our, our customer service and our community spirit. So we, we hope everyone will what, come in and take I, it. I really think that's what sets any business apart from anything else is their community involvement mm -hmm. and their community service. I like to go in a place, a bank or whatever, where people know me or will call you by your name yes. or whatever. I like that. Yes, you want that. We want you to feel like you're at home at Homeland. And, and so we've got, we've hired, we've got a great staff. We've got some local folks. We've got some folks from at Minville, So it's a mixture of both. How long have you had the, uh, the, the bank in McMinnville. We will be open 18 years this December. God, I didn't think it had been that long. 2003. Yeah. yeah. And I've been fortunate enough to be there the whole time. So well, that is we good. have 11 of our original 20 employees still working with us. Now, you have another branch or another bank in Morrison, right? We do. We actually have two branches. We have one on Bersheba Street in McMinnville, and then we have our Morrison branch okay. besides our main office. Oh, okay. I didn't realize that. I knew there was one in Morrison, but I was. What made you decide Woodbury would be a good spot to land? <laughs> Well, the main motiva motivating factor is you lost your community bank here. Your, your community bank was bought out. Let's yeah. Say. Yes. So okay. that was a good, yeah. good, uh, good fit for us, we felt like. So we were looking to expand outside of Warren County, and this seemed to be a good place to be. Well, I know that we've had a lot of uh, uh, building going on, and I know a lot of them have done their financing through you at your... Mm -hmm. uh, McMimbal office, so yeah, we 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 have embraced uh, several customers from here, and we've enjoyed right. each and every one of them. Yes. And if you haven't met the county finance department, you need to go talk to them okay. because they are in the midst of trying to get some. Uh, stuff worked out with banks to see if they'll take bids on things. So okay. 
That'd be, a, be a hot lead for you to go That's talk great. to Diane Hickman down at the uh, County mm -hmm. Finance Department. And Neil Applebaum. Neil Applebaum, sure. All right. Sure we'll thing. try to. You may have to write those names down for yeah, me. Yeah, we'll definitely <laughs> After we finish here, mm -hmm. but that would be uh -huh. great. Thank you very much. Yes. And of course, with the growth, you know, the state is experiencing a lot of growth. You all are having a lot of folks come in. We are in Warren County. So we hope we can be of service and provide that community banking experience for all. Well, like I say, I like that community thing. I do. I like that in all the businesses. I like yeah. them all to be. And I have to say that most of your people, uh, I've always said probably Cannon County has a, an abundance of volunteer mm -hmm people that do things in our county and that's that what makes the, we would be hard pressed yes. if we had to if they weren't there we and were. that's wonderful I, and that contributes to the community spirit i know we uh, have had a couple of folks reach out to us while we were in construction um, some from your high school mm -hmm. you know looking for sponsorships and your fair that was here i think in may so i I You're didn't aware want to, of several things that go I on. didn't want to hit you with any sponsorships <laughs> right away. I mean, you know. Oh, we've already you got to kind of ease already into happened, that. So. <laughs> well, I'll be talking to you here in a couple of weeks about a sponsorship possibility. Okay. We'll see how that goes. So. Well, so I'm not going to do that to you. I'm just. I just want yeah, you. I kind of said I'll wait as well. That's, you know. <laughs> I just want you to join the chamber. That's yes. what I want. Well, we would definitely do that. And well, thank you. Right. We appreciate the time here today and you you hosting this for us. Well, we will do, uh, actually, DTC, I guess I forgot to give them credit. Um, they make this possible because they give it as a benefit to the chamber mm -hmm. for their members and their new businesses and organizations and everything. And, of course, it will air twice a week, right, Kobe? And uh, for a month. Well, I'll give a shout out to DTC also. They've been great to work with. I worked with Miss Carolyn and Byron and Heath, and they have been awesome. They are. Yes, we, now, you talk about a community partner, yeah. and I, I might add to that, um, they're going to have a luncheon on August. Uh, they always have an appreciation luncheon uh, at the Art Center, and it will be the 4th of August, and it'll be right there at the Art Center. Miss Carolyn has already mentioned that. Okay. So she, she's so on her game. Yes. You're welcome to <laughs> um, you. yes. attend that and any of the other Thank with you. the bank that would like to. I think they have a date of, I mean, a, a time of uh, 1130 to 130. Mm -hmm. But I wouldn't wait till 1.30 because you well, the may. the food be gone. <laughs> That's important, isn't it, if we're going to come Maybe. to a lot <laughs> Let me tell you something. When you talk about grand openings and everything, you just mentioned free food. Now, I'm not for sure. This is a free event uh, for lunch appreciation. I'd imagine it is. Yeah, it is. You better watch out. You'll have not only Candy County, but you'll have half of DeKalb and some of Warren <laughs> show up and, <laughs> and stuff like that. We've we've been through those, haven't we, Carol? Yes, we so. have. <laughs> That's all right. But that's all right. Free, yeah, it gets free. people in the door and, and, and familiar with your business, and that's what you want. That, that is true. Yes. It is. And if I didn't add, I would like to add we are a full service bank, so we can offer any services that any other bank can offer. Okay. And we, we try to keep up with the modern technology and the cutting edge. Mobile banking is being you know, huge now. So, all those things that any customer is familiar with, we offer. So. I'd love to see you get a popcorn machine where you can serve popcorn <laughs> on Fridays. Got? Like bank, banks serve popcorn on Fridays from time to time. Some banks did, and they then they have, get away with it, I right? I have to say, I, I know of some banks that do See? That. Well, yeah. bank we of are not one of those, but I do know <laughs> some. Bank of Commerce used to do that. Bill Smith used to do That's that. That's more of an old school thing. Yeah, I do remember is. growing up, the popcorn in the bank that my parents banked at years ago. Yeah. 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 Well, welcome to Woodbury. We're a little <laughs> old school. Yeah, there we go. Old school, well, so there and comes and a pop that's always a good thing, yes, but thank you, yes. Well, now, Potter's Ace Hardware, they have a popcorn machine. They serve popcorn on, I believe it may be Friday and Saturday. 
Well, I'm heading over there Friday. I put that down <laughs> maybe, my maybe go with cotton candy or something. I think popcorn. Do something a little done. different. Yeah. yeah. There are some too. I've been told that do those Otis Spunkmeyer muffins. I yeah. don't know if you're yeah. familiar with those. And so, you know, people always are saying, "Have you thought about?" Like, <laughs> <laughs> well, in Cannon County, it's fried pies. Fried oh, pies. Man. Well, you can't go wrong with a good fried pie. That's nope. for sure. And we do also, uh, the bank sponsors the Warren County Arts and Crafts Fair, so we share some of the vendors with your White Oak Show with some of our vendors. So we, that's always fun. I always try to come to the White Oak Show as well uh, and visit with our vendors, but that is a, uh, such a nice arts and crafts, so you're very fortunate to have that. We are here. very fortunate, and I don't know that everybody in Cannon County realizes that we are fortunate to have an, an art center. And of course, and so, this last year, it took its toll sure. and on that, everything. On, on the arts but, and crafts uh, community, yeah. it did. It really did. But there are some very talented folks hid around here. Oh, yeah, they are. And I, you know, it, it was so funny. Uh, you talk about tourism and everything. And of course, we're, we're small and we're not on a main interstate or anything, but we had two ladies come in yesterday at the chamber, and um, they came back there and they said, uh, they didn't really know what they were looking for, to tell you the truth, and they said they needed brochures, and I says, well, we got brochures, I says, what kind? And they said, well, we don't know, we're from Missouri, and, and they told us to come to Cannon County to see the hills. And I said, okay. <laughs> and I says, all right. I says, really, if you walk outside in the parking lot and look around, you're looking at some of them, but we don't have any that are like in a row, you know. You just got to drive around. Sure. But Cannon County is very scenic. It is. And a it source, really is. It's the very first pretty. place I said, well, it is. Scenic. I'm just saying, some people, I didn't know people were driving out to look at the hills. Hills. That must be code for something. And no, they were it's looking not for code. Shine or something. I don't now, know. Maybe well, they watched a movie and they were trying to figure you. out. Yeah. Oh, you did. They were was, looking for moonshine. Well, I don't know. She got excited when I said you were a legal moonshine. Still, she goes really, and I thought yeah. yes. And if you drink enough of that, you'll see hills everywhere you uh, Yeah, you might see other things, too, besides hills, I'd imagine. But, yeah. You know. <laughs> well, that's not what we're dealing with. But I thought that was so <laughs> funny that somebody came, told we, them to come here to look for hills. We used to get tourists looking for red eyes at night. They were looking for, like, ghosts and stuff. Oh, okay. my gosh. Yeah. Around that Halloween before or especially. after they tasted? No, that was a. Then before, they were coming yeah, out of. I remember hearing Mid about this. We would have all. Uh, <laughs> there was a whole group of people coming here looking for uh, ghosts or Charles Manson. And we oh well, now I've time. heard about yeah. Charles for yeah. years. It was just a urban or country legend. I don't know so what you want to call yeah, it. Kind of but uh, yeah, it was really funny. That's sort of where I think the Short Mountain Haunted Woods came from. All these but that's a big deal stories. anymore. It's a good fundraiser now. It yeah. sure is. Mm -hmm. People but, like to be scared, I guess. Yeah, we do a whole tourism thing now with the ghost hunting and that kind of thing. And we have they some like ghost it. hunting tours. I, they do. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but you tell It's a lot of work to do the yeah. haunted. I do tell stories, yeah. I'm and happy to tell stories. you told one at the Lions Club, and I was sitting there, and part of the people you were talking about were in my husband's family. Oh, yeah. So, <laughs> yeah you got to be careful when you're telling a ghost story in Cannon County, because the person being killed is yeah. probably a relative of the person in the right. room. So <laughs> it's, 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 it's home. It's not called Shotgun County for no reason. <laughs> oh, my God. Everyone used to get shot. I'm, 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 yeah, I'm, that's how you settled I'm arguments. just waiting. <laughs> um, just be ready to duck is all yeah, I can yeah. say. Well, Cindy, getting back to you, we're glad to have you come in. We're glad to have your company, your bank opening up here, and we want to wish them the very best. Thank and if you. the chamber can be of any use to them whatsoever, I'm right next door to you. You are very handy. Well, I thank am. you for the opportunity and, and having me in today. Okay. I tried to drag one or two more, but... <laughs> well, that's all right. We'll do this we'll, again. We'll, we'll do it again. In a, a, another time, and we'll see after you've been there for a while if if you're still real excited to be here or not. <laughs>
Oh, we will be. We will be. It gets better and better. <laughs> yeah, it gets better. Nice. <laughs> But anyway, we're glad to have you, and you're welcome to stay, because now I'm going to talk to Billy. You can about. chime in, too. <laughs> yeah, I, I probably need some banking. If you want to actually, add something. Actually, we, had, we drove up, the, uh, our bank president and I drove up to Short Mountain Distillery, and uh, there was a young lady there, and she let us walk around, because we're just, you know, we want to get familiar with the mm -hmm. area was and looking. Come when we're open. We're open on Thursday night. Uh, Friday night, all day Saturday okay. and Sunday. Well, we will definitely for do the that. restaurant. Yeah, it was one day we were here in town. And do so you we, not think it's one of the prettiest farms you've ever? Beautiful. Been? It yes, is. Yes, yes. And I'm a country girl. I was raised on a farm. I'm yeah. a farmer's daughter, so I have deep roots in the ag community. So yes, mm -hmm. it's beautiful. Yes. Well, their restaurant is great, and it's all farm to table. But when we went up there, uh, my husband had a family reunion, and they all went up there. And uh, I had the pork chop, and I thought, okay, I'm looking out over this beautiful farm, and I didn't see one pig anywhere. But you do have them, don't you? You can see them running down the middle of the road sometimes. <laughs> I don't mean, so, I mean where you keep yeah. them. Yeah. Now you now you did just say that we are all farm to table, and that is that I'm going to have to just say that that is untrue, but we are, yeah, what do you think we get everything from the farm well, that yes, we serve? Well, yes, you told me that. No, I did not. When Somebody did I tell you? Me. Somebody <laughs> told you that. I mean, we serve scallops. Do you think I've got No, like a, I don't think like you have scallops. tank somewhere? Well, just use your common sense. And that's what I tell people all the time. <laughs> <laughs> but we do have a lot of uh, local food and uh, we do, uh, I have a big greenhouse and I grow a lot of the herbs for the restaurant in the greenhouse. I enjoy doing that and, you know, sometimes flowers, different kinds of things. But to say we're all farm to table, is, that's impossible. Well, I thought so, but that's what they told me, it's farm to table food, yeah. so I thought, okay. Yeah. Well, we're sort of like uh, um, American cuisine, southern southern cuisine, fusion with other things. So we have fun with uh, the menu. It's a, it's a, we try and give people stuff that they wouldn't normally get and also uh, give them the kind of food that, you know, that they expect when they come out to the country in Tennessee. Right. Well, it's good. Oh, yeah, That's I love it. I We've know. got the best kitchen and, you know, anywhere I feel like you know I, we have some great restaurants out here but we have a great kitchen right now right. and uh, they're always uh, making new specials it's it's and you have really entertainment exciting. on certain nights too don't you we do we have music uh, uh, on uh, Friday night Saturday night sometimes Sundays you, you always have to check the schedule to see who's playing but uh, we usually have music in the evening around uh, and it would help six if they would call and make a reservation, right? It's always wise. You, we do walk-ins, but it's always wise to call, especially if you have a larger party. But it, we're, we, I've never seen us send somebody packing, you know, so uh, it's good to, uh, um, to call, you know, when you decide you want to come, right. just to see sort of like when the best time to come in is. We do get pretty busy. Um, you know, at certain hours, so it's good to call. Now, on Sundays, you have the brunch? Is that we do have brunch on Sundays from uh, 11 to 3. We have a different menu on Sundays. You can get, like, Eggs Benedict and brunch specials. You can always get, like, a breakfast steak or something, you know, like that. It's always a good cocktail, so if you need a cocktail on a Sunday, it's a good place to get one. Bloody Mary or Probably something. Probably after church or something. You know, yeah, after church, you might need one. We might need one after, after church. I don't know, whatever your affiliation is. <laughs> well, that's right. <laughs> so what do you want to talk about? I want to talk about this future Short Mountain Greenway site okay. that's coming up. So uh, we have had cattle on the farm since I've been uh, the owner of, of Little Short Mountain Farm. Uh, it, it, and before me was uh, Jimmy Bashir, and he was a cattle farmer. So uh, 
we've, I've maintained that tradition and just sort of this year, we've been getting more and more tourists. People want to walk the property and we've decided uh, to, we, we sold all our cattle to uh, Jeff Young, our neighbor, and uh, we're still feeding the mash to the same cows, but um, we are uh, opening up the farm, so to speak. So I'd, I'd spent uh, a, like a year, 15 years ago, cross-fencing that farm, and now we're taking fencing down and uh, opening it up to people to walk the property. It's a beautiful property, and we've, uh, started a uh, one mile trail loop and we call it the short mountain greenway and we have all sorts of plans for it to to really upgrade it to be uh, accessible to people um, i want it to be uh, handicap accessible we're grading it you know so it'll be uh, easy to walk we're going to put electricity on it and uh, even Wi-Fi so people can use uh, apps on it that like identify plants and that kind of thing. Oh, that'll so, be cool. Mm -hmm. that'll so, be cool. Uh, hey, that'll be a big draw. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I, people like that. People like that, and you know, most uh, visitors who come out and see us uh, are from an hour, two hours away, and. Uh, and they come out, they take a tour, they maybe take a cocktail class, they eat, but we wanted to open up the property. So it's a 300 acre farm and we have all these beautiful uh, rolling hills and uh, uh, Donnie Agee is uh, um, a mule skinner, he works with mules out here. Um, he's been giving mule rides, so we're gonna start offering mule rides on Saturday evening they love with that. cocktails. Yeah. <laughs> And uh, and and pe folks even now are welcome to walk the greenway. So we we don't have cattle on the farm, so the gates are open, and we're taking down the fencing. Um, you won't step in a cow patty, uh, although you might because you know they last a while, and we it just hasn't been too long. But uh, uh, this is Cannon County. Cannon it's County. Okay. Yeah, it's okay to step in a cow patty sometimes. <laughs> But uh, it's just a beautiful property. I've seen bald eagles on it, and bobcats, and deer, and coyotes, and red-tailed hawks, and all sorts of number beautiful. of animals. And uh, another thing we're doing is we're uh, protecting the watershed there. So Dry Creek uh, begins on that property, and we're putting all that into stream reclamation. So we're sort of returning the water source uh, to its pre-agricultural state, and uh, we'll be showing people how we're doing that as well. So it's a lot of uh, turn changing gears because we we've, we've realized we can't be uh, a working farm and a uh, distillery and a restaurant and a tourist, a, attraction. tourist attraction. We gotta, we gotta pick and choose, and, we, and we're picking people over cows right now. And, uh, and I think uh, that's going to allow us to open the property up for lots of stuff. One of the things uh, we wanna do, and we're doing a little uh, case study, is uh, we're gonna be putting cabins on the property. So um, you know, I had heard you mention this once before, and yeah. I never did. I never did hear any more about it. So well, uh, we are uh, planning that out. Uh, not not a huge build at first. Just sort of like uh, uh, I think we're going to start with four cabins, and then have uh, different phases of what we want to do. But. Uh, a lot of people who come here, they need, uh, you know, they, like I said, they come from two hours away and maybe they eat at the restaurant, they want to spend the night, and we're going to be offering uh, that, that experience. And we do have an inn and we do have a couple of bed and breakfast, but um, yeah, they're, they're limited. And I didn't right. notice when we were there, you have things for them to do. There was a disc golf? Or we have a disc golf I noticed course. There was some yeah, activities. we have. Yeah, if, you, if you're interested in our activities, uh, you go to Flying Colors Disc Golf. There's uh, their schedule of uh, um, competitions. They have like uh, disc golf competitions, and they have some coming up, and people can sign up for those. 
um, they're, they're, they're serious, you know, help me out. if it's raining, people will play. <laughs> and uh, we also, uh, we have some, uh, our own, uh, uh, through Rustic Lace events, we have uh, some craft fairs coming up that people oh, can nice. look yeah. online. Yeah. It's, it's different than the White Oak craft sure. fair. It's, uh, it's just different vendors. It's a, diff it's a different feel, but uh, those are always fun. Um, and you've had a couple of big ones. Yeah, that uh, we had a crazy the one first during one was, COVID. That was wild. Like ten thousand people showed up that day. It was wild. I know we were sitting in yeah. line trying to get by. Oh my lord! Yeah, but uh, we have the fire department now helping us with parking, so uh, th that that won't happen again. But uh, the 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 line, you know, to get in won't happen again. Um, but uh, what else is coming up? Uh, well, well your, your Haunted Woods. I oh, mean, yeah, we're going to be woods. there before you realize Yeah, before well, the Haunted realize Woods it. are coming up. Um, trust me, I've been thinking about it. We're going to be doing a uh, haunted uh, Halloween Haunted Woods extravaganza night. So I don't think it's going to be... Uh, over four days, you know, two or three weekends, six days sometimes. I think that's, uh, it's been really rough on all the volunteers at I'm the sure fundraiser. And, uh, you know, we'll have like 60 volunteers out in the woods scaring people. So we're going to do it for <laughs> one night, everybody. It's going to be. They wonder where the red eyes come from. Yeah, yeah. It's from. <laughs> It's like going to war, that haunted woods, I'm telling you, it's, it's rough on you. But uh, we're going to do it one night. It's not going to be uh, the Saturday before Halloween. It's going to be the weekend Saturday before Halloween. So it's like, a, like the week before. And uh, we're going to have uh, all the jump scares and everything. You can go out in the woods and get scared. But we have a corn maze this year and uh, we're gonna have lots of food and music and bonfires so uh, yeah it's like the 23rd um, so uh, and that's a fundraiser for the uh, volunteer fire department the short mountain volunteer fire department so we have a corn maze and we'll do the mule rides and uh, the, the haunted jump scares and, um, and there'll be lots of food so it'd be more like a party and people can come in costume and spend the whole evening there listening to music and we'll have costume competition and make it more like a, instead of just going through the-, the It's gonna be a party. It, we'll make it all night because we're just gonna do it one night. Yeah. So we're, we have all the same volunteers, but we'll have much more energy to entertain everybody because right. we won't be there for six days, you know, from seven to midnight <laughs> every night and all the prep and the month before. It's a lot, it's a lot. But it's been a great fundraiser for the fire department. They should be driving uh, around in uh, nice vehicles now. And I think they even have like uh, a big water truck now yeah. for folks that don't have wells and, well, or, or don't have uh, city a city water. 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 Access. Yeah, yeah, water access. Because if, you know, if your power goes out and your house is on fire, there's no water. So. Well, I remember when they first started the volunteer fire departments uh, out in the county, one of the things that they um, talked about, and of course, I helped with the east side fire department, but the lack of water in a lot of areas, especially out in the country. Yeah. And they said, well, we would have to pump it out of ponds and everything. Yeah. Well, now. Whose pond? Uh, yeah, and then or the pools. other thing is, that, yeah, pools. They mentioned that too, but I didn't know there weren't really it, that many yeah. people that had pools at that time. Right. But I thought even the ponds, you're going to get a lot of mud. I mean, some yeah. of them don't have that much water. In them. Yeah, no, I know. We don't have the, you know, the you're deepest ponds. You're going to get a few ponds. fish. Right. <laughs> Cannon County is a very wet county, but water is a big issue for it us. It is. And, uh, I think uh, that's going to be uh, one of our, our big hurdles in the near future is what to do about water and where we're getting our water. And 
And I think we just have to start thinking about this resource differently. We're, we have lots of water, we just need to... We have lots of swampy areas, let's put it that way. Well, yeah, we need to save our, you know, save some water and, and be more uh, conservation-minded with our water. We have a, a pond on our property. But the reason that we have a pond is when we first moved in there, the area had trees and everything, but it always stayed wet. You know, it was, yeah. you couldn't do anything with it. So we cut the trees, or most of them, not all of them. We dug a pond, and there's a spring on mm -hmm. this property. Well, there's more than one. Uh, that pond will fill up within a couple of days, and it's a big pond. Yeah. Yeah. And, and uh, it's just from the spring. Yeah. Well, I think, you know, maybe uh, people will start understanding that, uh, you know, just because the, everything's wet here doesn't mean the water's accessible. So Yeah, it you know, isn't. Making reservoirs and s having cisterns and just, you know, s saving our water is important. Well, you're... You're just a gung ho on this, Billy, and I like this. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I'm gun. I'm Cannon County's my home. I've been here for like 20 years now, and uh, hopefully, I'll be around for another 20, 40 years. I well, don't know. I hope you are. I'm too. not sure how much longer I have, but <laughs> well, none of us. I'm in are for the long haul. Us, so. <laughs> <laughs> well, I think this is really, and I do believe. That now this Cooper Cave Spring Trail, where did I see that on a sign? We have a, a sign that says the Cooper Cave Spring Trail. It's named after Cooper Melton. Right. Um, and uh, everyone knows a Melton, so it's probably the same Cooper. Um, but Cooper, he had 20 kids. He was Al Capone's moonshiner. And uh, that was what made him famous. And he owned our property you know, almost a hundred years yes, ago. Yes, he did. So um, there's artifacts from his era that we find periodically. And uh, and then, we, of course, we have that ghost story, you know, about Cooper Melton. If, if you've never heard the uh, Cooper Melton ghost story, just uh, come to our haunted woods and ask anyone. You'll find it. Probably it's, be one of the more gruesome events that ever happened. But it's fun to listen to. Yeah, it it's is fun, fun to listen to. And, you know, we'll probably just be acting it out on the, uh, at that Halloween party over and over, shooting each other, so <laughs> chopping each other up with axes. <laughs> what goes on in the woods stays in the woods. <laughs> so, well, now we got an axe thrown in place that's moved into Cannon oh, County. Yeah. And as actors are taking part in that axe throwing, can practice yeah, for this. We, we, yeah. should, uh, we should partner with that. Oh, yeah. Yes, you should, because uh, when I first heard that, I thought, okay, when you're saying axe to me, I'm thinking a big axe. And I thought, well, these are going to have to be heavy duty men. They're going to be throwing an axe at something, you know. No, it's a hatchet. It's a hatchet. Huh? Yeah, yeah. A little hatchet. Not like a battle axe. Well, that's what I was thinking. <laughs> yeah. I thought it could have to be yeah. kind of strong to do that. Yeah, just but, enough um, to chop up your wife. Well, that was my other. I thought now, if a husband and wife goes over there and they've had some problems anyway, <laughs> uh, maybe only one of them will leave, you know. I don't know. But. Yeah. I'm sure they're well, insured for that. What they build, they sit out there and said, if you've got any frustrations, come on out here. We'll help you take them out. <laughs> hey, John I don't Patterson, know if they meant it that in that maybe, form yeah. of John fashion. Patterson only got uh, two years for chopping up his wife with an ax. Well, that's true. So, I, don't, I don't think you'd get the same <laughs> sentence today. By the way, just for the record, we do not you condone. You might be sharing too much. Yeah, that's what I'm saying about race today. We <laughs> do not Cannon condone the axe throwing at your Cannon spouses. Cannon County lore. This is yeah. Cannon County lore. I'm, I'm a history. Rebecca Please Murray. do not try that at home. <laughs> Rebecca Murray has <laughs> written there. several yeah. books, and one of them uh, has a lot of these stories in it of Cannon County and people and everything. It's very interesting Old ends to young read. Ends or which one is that? No, this is Rebecca Murray. She's written oh, yeah, books yeah. about everything. Yeah, no, she's great. Yeah. yeah. 
and she does a lot of research, and a lot of these stories are in one of the books. I think it's called Murder, Mayhem, and Moonshine. Yeah, right? Murder, Mayhem, and yep. Moonshine, that's right. And I want to tell you, we sell out of them. The Art Center, she has them at the Art Center, and they sell out of them. Well, she wrote one, something to do with Min Moonshine, and Ricky Estes, name mm -hmm. was in it. Oh, yeah. Oh, and right. he bought 16 copies. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's good. Well, he gave them to his family reunion. <laughs> Authors should remember that, to put Ricky's name in their book, <laughs> as a mention, just to make a quick sell. Hey, she's written several, and they're all about, she's got the lawman of Cannon County, she's got uh, tale, ghost stories. I really enjoyed that one. I thought that was so funny. Um, but yeah, you could look at that and you could probably come up with some new ghost stories. Up yeah, front. well, one of, the, one of the blessings we've had in the past couple of years is that we have a new neighbor, Dr. Uh, Pat, Pat Ritchie. It was his birthday yesterday, I think. And uh, he lives right across the street from the distillery. He's a, a professor over at MTSU. And he comes over to the property with his metal detectors, and he comes over after every rain. He yes. looks for Native American artifacts, and he also finds with his metal detector artifacts from Cooper Melton's days and uh, John Mason's days, you know, the people before us. Yeah. Um, and he, he finds all sorts of stuff, and then he does research and kind of places those items and whose house they were. It's pretty fascinating. We've put some of those um, finds up on the wall at the restaurant. It's pretty cool just uh, seeing how people lived not not too long ago, about a hundred years ago. It's pretty cool. All I can say is if you don't go to the distillery, you don't know what you're missing because they do have all of this and if you do like beautiful scenery, um, good food, they'll take you on the tour down the trail to the spring. Mm -hmm. where the moonshine was made or is made. You also have whiskey now, right? Yeah, we have. We're mostly like a bourbon whiskey distillery, and we do the moonshine still just to... because we've, we've sort of... You started there. Started there and done very well, you know, making it. But uh, if you have any questions about reservations, you can call... Uh, this is where I'm going to fumble. So 615-563-1243, or you can email reservations at shortmountaindistillery.com and ask whatever you like, and we'll respond. Or you can find us on Facebook, Short Mountain Distillery, and you can just direct message us on Facebook. So shortmountaindistillery.com. Facebook, Short Mountain Distillery, or 615-563-1243. Uh, those are the best ways to uh, find out what's going on on the mountain when you want to come. There you go. <laughs> Enough said. Billy, you're an inspiration every time you come down here. <laughs> oh, really? I don't even realize it. So. Well, you are. I love it. Good. I, I'd like to hear about it. I like... I, that's part of our tourism here, whether you, you know, you don't, uh, how should I say this? You don't need to have a drink. That's right. You can go up there Mountain and have distillery. a good time mm -hmm. and you don't have to drink. So yeah, I honestly, uh, I personally am not a drinker, but I own a distillery. That's right. And to me, it's just about heritage. It's not really about drinking. Well, no. And besides that, I... I think there's too many TV shows that shows them sitting there with a jug, yeah, drinking all afternoon. No, no. I can't imagine drinking moonshine. It's about history that much. and cuisine and all sorts of other things that sort but of the, the distillery is the backdrop for. It. The restaurant's good, and I will tell you this: like I say, my husband's family was in. There was 47 of them, and we booked it for his family reunion to eat there. Listen, I talked with, what's the lady's name, Billy, that does your bookings for your... It's Sam now. Sam. Oh, okay. Yeah. That wasn't her name then. That it's was probably Vanessa that you talked to. It was yeah. Vanessa. Mm -hmm. And what we did was I told her to give me three menus, 
and out of, because if you just go up there and you're ordering 47 different things off the menu, it's going to take a while. Yeah, you'll be waiting for, yeah. with 47 people. Yeah, that'll make So what she yeah, did wait. was she sent it to me. I sent the menus out to them, told them to pick what they wanted so that the distillery would also know what to order. You know, I think one of them was steak, one was pork chop, and the other one was, um, it was a seafood. I can't remember Scallop. now. I can't remember what it was. But anyway, it all worked out great. They knew what to order. They knew how many would be there. It didn't take long at all. So if you have large numbers, don't be afraid. And then, of course, they all went down after they ate <laughs> and did the tastings. Oh, there you go. I think some of them did several tastings. I'm not sure. <laughs> but anyway, they went on the trail, too. But it was fun. It was good. So, you know, think about it. And if it's just a day trip you're looking at, you can't leave the distillery out. The only thing is Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and part of Sunday, right? Yeah. Well, it's Thursday evening, Friday evening. We do 5 o'clock tours. And then we're open almost all day Saturday from 11 to 9, and then Sunday from 11 to 3. Yeah. Okay. The bank has more hours than we do. But, <laughs> but you know, once we put in cabins. And uh, you can't have a tasting. There. Once we put in cabins, I think, you know, our hours will increase and our ability to uh, I, have people, you know, at other hours will, will be there. I think the cabins are a great idea because we've had several people in Cannon County that have just had little cabins built in their backyard or on their property or anything. Mm -hmm. um, I've gone to a couple of them. They're great. And a lot of people would love to come and spend the night. Yeah, I mean, we have 300 like acres. And when you spend the night on the property, you, you, you know, we're not putting these cabins like right up next to each other. You're, you're going to have a sense right of, of space yeah. and quiet. You'll hear the coyotes and all the insects, and we're not, I snakes. mean. Snakes. You won't hear snakes, but, but they're there. But uh, see, we've brought snakes into yes, it. Yes, we did. We, I, I was told we should talk about snakes. Everyone's interested That's in That's Carolyn's snakes. biggest folk. No, well, I'm uh, not but, interested in them. Um, so, uh, but uh, it's beautiful, and uh, you know, I went to Gatlinburg recently, and they've got a, a great tourism thing going there, but every, it's so, Cramped and, You're right and next crowded, to each other, and you? I think people are looking for and the expanse of nature. And I, I've said it for for two decades. Um, our biggest resource in Cannon County is is our space. Yeah, and, and that uh, you know that we have so much open space and opportunity here for. For experiencing that, I think uh, we don't see the the forest through the trees, but uh, but that is our biggest resource here, and, and the untapped water that flows right through our county out into the earth and right. away from us. So maybe we'll have a big Cannon County reservoir someday. Oh, well, I hope they don't put that over there by me anywhere. <laughs> we could keep dolphin in it or something. I have another tourist attraction. Well, I brought my whale killer, so. Oh, yeah, Bl your blubber slicer. Yeah, blubber slicer. <laughs> I didn't know what that was, Billy. I didn't, it's when a, I looked it's at It's an Eskimo that. knife, I believe. And you, I, it's at least the shape of it. It's that sort of crescent thing, and the, the, the Eskimos will cut the blubber off whales with a knife like that. Well, if I run into one, I've got the equipment that I can take care of it. <laughs> yeah, you never know. Okay, I've got some events i got to talk about here. Um, August 6th and 7th, of course, will be Red Apple Days in Auburn Town, as usual. And that's a close-knit community. And they start out, I believe, on Friday night with the gospel singing. And then Saturday, they have the 5K run. Uh, they will have entertainment, food, vendors, pageants, a parade. And they may have a car show of some type up there. I'm not, I'm not for sure. I think they did 
Well, I don't know if they did yeah, last they, year because they last didn't year, have it the year last year. They did, did they? and they also yeah. had a fireworks thing. I think they're going to have fireworks on the Saturday night. Oh, it's well, good, now. good. They didn't send me something, but I know what's going on. Um, August 14th, the antique stores in Woodbury will be celebrating dog days of summer. The Iron Pig Antiques and the Picket Fence will be uh, accepting donations of pet supplies, food, uh, hygiene for the pets, uh, toys, blankets, everything for the, and they will all be donated to the community for animals. And then on August 21st and 22nd, the Cannon County Arts Center will be presenting Hank Williams, The Lonesome Tour, starring Jason, Jason Petting, Jason Petty. And they've tried to do this several times last year and had to cancel for obvious reasons. But this year it's booked, and unless something bad comes up, it's going on. And it will be August 21st and 2nd. The show will be on Saturday at 7.30 p.m. Sunday, the matinee at 2 p.m. And you can call 615-563-2787 and reserve your tickets or find out more information. And they do have some other um, items coming up. And of course, one of the things that the Art Center, and we're getting close, so I'll go ahead and mention it, will be the um, White Oak Craft Fair, which will be the 11th and 12th of September. It will be an outside and an inside event, and uh, it's free, but there is a $3 parking, and that money goes to the cross-country team at the high school. And the reason for that is, there's so many people that come to this that they have to have help parking these people. So don't get upset. That's a good thing. Uh, the Chamber of Commerce, August 28th. The cruise in will be on the square in Woodbury from 4 to 7. Uh, cruise in sponsors will be set up. DTC will be give away a cap or a shirt, and you can register for the TV that they give away at the car show in September. And then Shelter Insurance has jumped in this year, and they set up a table and they give away drinks and snacks and everything, because I usually don't have a food vendor for this, for the cruise ins, because it's a three hour event. And um, O'Reilly's, of course, is always one of our big sponsors, and they make sure that we have door prizes for everyone. Uh, this is a free event to the public and to the cruisers. However, when it's on the square, if you're a spectator, we ask that you park outside of the square for insurance purposes, because if something, you don't want to run into one of those cars. And then there's people and little kids walking everywhere. So if you want to come to it, they certainly want you to. But if you're not participating in it as a cruiser, then please park outside of the square. Do you have a DJ for this event? Yeah, you. Oh. Unless you quit. No, I haven't quit. Oh, okay. I was getting ready to hit you if you had. Yeah. September 11th and 12th, then this White Oak Craft Fair. September 4th, 5th, and 6th, the Cannon County Walking Horse Association will hold their Labor Day trail ride and camp out. And the horses will leave the fairgrounds in Woodbury at 11 a.m. They ride through town and up to the campgrounds where they have horse shows and a dance and music for the rest of that weekend. <laughs> um, our horse show that we had on the 4th of July was big. It was a good horse show. They had, I forget how many entries, <coughs> but every everything seemed to go off really well. Lots of good food. The horses all looked pretty, but I would take any one of those horses, so that was a big event for the Lions Club Charities. And the Chamber of Commerce invites you to come into Cannon County, <coughs> visit our many antique stores. <coughs> it's not COVID. She's been no, tested. Don't worry. Don't worry. 
Let me mention a couple of things while she's coughing, I guess. July 31st, we want to talk about the uh, Cannon County middle grade uh, football jamboree that the high school, uh, a little bit, Fred Schwartz Field at the high school. 24 teams will start at 9 o'clock and end at 9 o'clock. Uh, we'll have 30-minute uh, 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 quarters, or, uh, games and whatnot between the 24 teams, so that's going to bring a lot of tourism to Cannon County that, that particular day. That's on Saturday, and uh, we'll be out there uh, bright and early at 9 o'clock. Uh, let's see, the Cannon Coalition uh, Prevention and Substance Abuse Prevention Coalition, we're looking for churches to present our programs to, so if you have a church that you would like to uh, – have us come and speak and talk about our program and what we're trying to do in the community of Cannon County. Please get a hold of us. Uh, you can go online at Facebook at Cannon County Substance Abuse Prevention Coalition. That's our Facebook, and uh, check that out. We've got some new board members. We're excited about the future and what we're planning on doing as we get our meetings back up and everything. Okay, once again, I'm going to invite you to Cannon County. Visit our antique stores, our restaurants, our specialty markets. Stop by our new bank. Go in, see what they've done. Uh, you may want to open an account while you're there. Um, we have lots of events during the year. Just check us out or call the chamber, and I'll be glad to tell you about those. I just want you to remember we're just down the road and a world away. And you did so that without we'll coffee. see you in September, yes. Just down the road and a world away. That's right.